Flipping the switch, how can our bodies stop inflammation before it goes too far? Inflammation is an important way our bodies fight infections, but too much inflammation can be a bad thing. How does our body know to flip the switch and turn off inflammation? Our bodies are constantly on the lookout for different dangers like viruses and bacteria that could harm us. If the danger makes it into our bodies, our immune system uses inflammation to fight infections. For this inflammation to occur, our cells must build complexes called inflammasomes. Think of our immune system as a toy factory. When a new order comes in, the worker must gather all the required pieces for that toy and assemble it. Only after all the pieces are together do you have a complete toy to be shipped out to the customer. Similarly, once a danger, such as a virus, enters the body, the immune system is alerted and all molecules assemble to form a complex called an inflammasome. Once it is formed, it can signal for inflammation in the body to come and fight the virus. But what happens if the ordering system malfunctions and random orders start to come in that were never actually placed by a customer? The factory would fill up with random toys with no place to send them. Likewise, if inflammasomes start to form out of control, our bodies have excess or chronic inflammation, which can contribute to a wide variety of diseases like diabetes, Alzheimer's, arthritis, and cancer. Therefore, our cells contain switches to turn off the inflammation, but these switches are still very mysterious to scientists today. During my research, I've discovered one of these switches, which is a molecule that is able to help control things coming in and out of the cell, which tells the body to stop the inflammasomes from forming, thus stopping the inflammation. Knowing how to stop inflammation with this molecule, we can design new treatments for people with chronic inflammation to help their symptoms and prevent progression of their disease.